Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. What's popping? What's going on in the life of an aqua for the end, for the middle to the end of December, honey? Hmm. Hmm. I know y'all ain't think I was gonna let December roll out and not bring y'all no damn Aquarius videos. I needed to check on my aqua babies. I'm getting ready to roll out these 2020 videos today as we speak. <clears throat> I was actually waiting on my video, on my damn voice to decide he wants to come back after Krima. I pray that you guys had a beautiful holiday season and that you guys are in this space of loving, letting go, and truly allowing yourself to heal as we go into January 2020, All right? If this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, <clears throat> please feel free to find another, another another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. It's my shit, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the support, the donations, the readings. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever, okay? If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. If you have not done so already, please go follow my Instagram at um, it's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. There I do do weekly reads, okay, for all of the elements. I do them in elements, all right? So we're going to go ahead and just quickly tap in and see what's going on with my aqua babies and what you guys could expect, what you guys been going through in the month of December uh, 2019. Y'all, this is the last reading of the night. Look, this is the last, reason, the last reading of 2019. Um, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time a bit later, so I was trying to go ahead and get... Um, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio out because y'all know how I feel about make people feeling like y'all got left out. I don't like it. All right. So let's get it. <clears throat> We're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month. For my aqua babies, you guys got walking away, final closure, avoidance, speak up, taking risk, mental blockages removed, reflection, dreams, Life path, forgive yourself, authentic self, financial blessing, family ties, spiritual teacher, obsession, self-worth, childhood wounds, ancestral wealth, shadow self, blessed investments, education, guilt, observation, self-worth, obsession, forgive yourself, <clears throat> financial blessing, authentic self, okay? So I don't know if I repeated myself. I was trying to go in a little circle, all right? But if I did, I apologize. But that's what I got intuitively for you all. For some of my Aquariuses, some of you all are afraid. It's like you guys have been in this space of complacency. Going into 2020, 2020 is not going to let you go in playing it so safe. A lot of you all are being called to be um, spiritual teachers. Some of you are, you're being called to be some type of resource or tool or vessel of resource, okay? For some of you are, this is about advocacy, public speaking. Some of y'all have a life path around children. Others of you are um, naturalists, herbalists, okay? But I definitely feel a sense of innovation. And for some of you all, you may be a bit uncomfortable in doing so, okay? It's like you have these big, big, big dreams, but there's also this doubt of what could go wrong and spirit is saying, killing noise, all right? Kill that noise, Aqua Babies. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the breakthrough. Yes, bitch. All right. Your angel message for the month. You guys spread your wings. Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Okay. Some of you all are possibly, um, some of y'all just has to do with some, some form of like um nature. Some of you guys are plant healers. Some of you all are being divinely guided by um, a maternal figure. I'm feeling someone who could have passed within the last three to five years. Someone who had very, very, very curly hair. Something about the eyes as well. The accentuation of the eyes. Some of you all, you already have this inner knowing, this overstanding of what choice needs to be made. Some of you all feel trapped or stuck or bounded in a situation. But I feel like for some of you all, this bounding is, or this feeling of bounding is self-imposed. Spirit is saying the only thing you got to do is let go and not be afraid of the damn fall or what's to come. Or don't accept the, don't ex some of y'all are accepting the fall before you even, yeah, some of y'all accepting the fall before you even allow yourself to run the race is what I'm hearing. 
There will be positive news coming about when it comes to transportation issues. For those of you who've been having transportation issues, for others of you, this has to do with the home. As soon as you said, fuck it, spirit came through. For some of you all, this will continue to carry out as we, as we um, some of y'all, this news could be coming in. Regarding a career transition, a home, or a new vehicle for someone here, or a few of y'all I'm seeing, actually here between the first and the second week of January, some of you all are going to be getting positive news regarding that. I know this is supposed to be um, an end of December read, but yeah, I am seeing for some of y'all that's going to continue on into the first week of January, okay? So let's go ahead and dig in when it comes to love matters. I can't make this video really long. I'm recording it on my Chromebook, so it's only going to let me do like about a good 15 minutes before it start acting crazy. All right, so spirit, what messages do you have? Ooh, my beautiful Aquarian, Sun, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watcher for this last half of December 2019. I know y'all like mocha petty, whatever. I love you. I could have said, well, just forget about it. I'm just going to keep going. No. Y'all have been my number one supporters, one of them, and also <laughs> my damn, <laughs> my little ear to fucking cry in for a lot of y'all. I love y'all. Y'all one of my faves. I was, who messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarian? Someone rather than me. The end of December, would it? Yeah. 